All right, hello, well, welcome to another episode of the Snob News. Today we're going to be discussing a uh, Spider-Man Two trailer. Hey, um, um, what do you think of it? I like it. I think it looks really cool. Do you? I really do. I like um, the, the the kind of teaser of it when he's going through Oscorp and you're seeing like Doc Ock's arms and you're seeing uh, I forget what the bird guy's thing is and you oh, see kind of like Mysterio. Oh, Vulture. Yeah, that's it. And you see, like, uh, the Mysterion's uh, helmet, I think. I think it was Mysterion's helmet. I don't in, remember seeing Mysterion's helmet. Like, I, I think I remember seeing that in like, one of the things that they are walking by. And, like, I, I, I like that. how they um, show Rhino, but they don't actually show Rhino <laughs> at the same time. Like, <laughs> they show his foot. They show his foot, and you see the horn. But there's a lot of things. It's like the helmet came down. Yeah, like, you don't see, yeah. you don't actually see Rhino. But you see Rhino. And it's, you see Rhino. I, I, I like how they didn't just give away Rhino. Well, Rhino's... That's... I think it's kind of weird for me, like, off the bat, because that's not how I pictured Rhino's suit, but... I, I figured um, the, the universe they were going with, they weren't going to make him, like... In a, well, I just didn't think it'd be like, like that. The muscled out guys. I think it's, like, Paul Giovanni I, is playing Rhino. Yes. And, like, they put him in, like, a big mechanical, like, beast yeah. of a suit. Like, that's... Essentially, what I thought they were gonna go with it. I was hoping they wouldn't, because I don't want all that mechanical yeah. crap. But I thought he'd be like mutated or something. But I just say like uh, what I thought about the trailer before I got into the details. And uh, I, I, I kind of liked it myself too. There was some parts that I'm kind of iffy about. I'm not. I don't like it as much as I like the first trailer, like the first for the first movie, because I thought that was a really good. The, the first trailer setup. For the first one, because it was like, okay, we're going to retell the origin story again, but we're going to do it like more today and not like Spider-Man from the 50s. And they had him running first person view through the rooftops and then hitting the thing. I was like, oh yeah, I'm on board for this. The only thing I didn't like then was I didn't like the suit design. It made sense when you watch the movie because it's like, okay, he's making it on a budget. that It's not... The Spider-Man suit, but it's a new Spider-Man. But now, like he looks like fully Spider-Man now. Like mm -hmm. Spider he got the badass. the really bat the the big eyes, which I always liked in the comic books. I like the Spider-Man look with the huge Spider-Man eyes. He he looks Spider-Man. Yeah, right he looks now. he looks he really looks like Spider-Man. Yeah. And I I didn't like in the first one. I didn't like uh Ale what's his name Alexander. You know, like Arthur, the guy who played Spider-Man. I don't remember his name either. But Garfield thing. I didn't really like see him as Spider-Man. I understand really? why people picked him. And from this trailer, I'm kind of getting that feel from like, okay, yeah, this is Spider-Man. Like I'm getting. I'm I getting really more, liked him in the first movie. I'm I, getting more on that wavelength of this is this is my Spider-Man now, and I I can get behind I, this one. Like I wasn't there in the first one, and from this uh, trailer, I'm kind of getting there. I was there. Was that? I, know. I don't know. I, I, I think I read more Spider Man than you did. Yeah, I don't know. I really read Spider Man, so. Spider Man wasn't a whiny emo like Toby McGuire. McGuire was. He was even like that in the first. And I'm talking about the third one. He was always like oh, whiny, you know. Oh. Uncle Ben. I don't want to be Spider Man. This guy was like. A badass right out of the game. Yeah, he was like. A he never, he never once said, I don't want these powers. He was he was cocky. Like, he was like, he I'm supposed? digging this stuff. Like he was doing the skateboarding and stuff. Like anybody would who had Spider Man's powers. That's how he was. He never was like, I don't want these powers. And that's all I remember from the other Spider Man movies. Is like, I don't want these powers. These powers are a burden. You gotta help people. It does feel like they're they're kind of going the direction of the powers are starting to kind of like weigh on them. I think it's not the power. I think the responsibility of it. Is making, but not the power. Like it's, it's really kind of dragging him down. Yeah. Then you get the, the, the one little scene in there with him and Gwen Stacy, and it's just like they got good chemistry. I, I liked that exchange. That I'm really hoping they don't kill her in this one. I think they were, they were saying something about like Mary Jane was supposed to be. In she is in it. I'm really hoping she is in it. Mary Jane is going to be in this. I've seen still shots. I know who's playing her. She is in it. I mean, I don't know if they're going to kill Gwen in this one, but her fate. Has been written a long time ago, and I'm really her numbers about up. I well, mean, I, I'm worried about it because it, it looked like uh, Harry Osborn was going to be the Green well, Goblin ish. And I, I, I honestly, I didn't read Spider Man when Gwen Stacy was in it. I 
was that was way before my time. That was a long time ago. I've heard a lot about Gwen Stacy, and I don't. I can't really say what their relationship was like. I heard it was pretty good back then. And from so far, the chemistry between Emma, De- St- Emma Stone and is it Emma Stone? Arthur Garfield. I don't. Know. Arthur Garfield. They got really good chemistry. But I remember reading Mary Jane and Peter Parker, and I and I got out of Spider Man before one more day. Thank God, because I probably would have flipped a lid. I've heard about that too. I I it makes me mad. But their love story was great. And she was the perfect girl for Parker. So I kind of want Gwen to go. (laughs) Even though I think they are a great couple in this. And it would be sad to see him go. But I think it would be at the same time. They would be like really good cinematic moments. Because they are so good together. And it would be so like shocking. Do you think they will actually kill her, though, off? Like, kill her off? Like, they killed her dad off, which... Yeah, they have to kill her off. But do you think they'll kill her off the way that They did in the comics books? Yeah. Or do you think, like... like, Yeah, well, they haven't really established... If they they set up the Green Goblin, and he's going to be in the third movie, then, yeah, I, I believe she'd probably die in the third movie. But they do show kind of a Green Goblin, like, character. I know, that's what I was saying, like... So maybe, yeah, they could, but Brian. yeah, they might, they might, they might. I mean, they got Mary Jane there for support and whatnot. What you know. did you think about Jamie Fox as um, was it Shocker or Electro? Electro. Uh, is that what you imagined? It? Like a lot of people were like, "Hey, yeah." I never really Electro. liked Electro to begin with. Like, I didn't like him in the comic books. Um. Because he kind of was whiny about, like, powers and... And then he's like, oh, turn to life a crime. Because, like, that's all Spider-Man's villains. Uh, the way he looked... I guess... I guess you could say, like, in this day and age, with, like, special effects and stuff like that. You're if they went more practical, I probably would be a lot more impressed. But, but the fact that it's like all CG almost, and I know a lot of that's kind of makeup y, but you know, they, they obviously CG'd the well, effect of on this stuff. face, giving them that like inner electrical look. Uh, I'm not that impressed. I'm, just... Did you like I'm sure Jamie Foxx will do a good job, but I'm just not impressed with this look. Did you like the chase thing where he's shooting through the stuff and. We just kind of like, eh. I was like, eh. Because I don't think... I think I think we got misdirected off the bat already. I think I think a lot of people don't realize it, but I think they're, they're trying to lead us away from the real villain in the movie. I don't think Jamie Foxx is the main villain. I think it's Harry Osborn. I don't know who it is. It might be Harry Osborn. It might be a Green Goblin. That's why I think it's going to be like, oh, oh my god. Because they already kind of showed on the poster, they showed like a Green Goblin. And it might be Harry. I don't know. I can't say that for sure well, right now. But. I want to say, because in the trailer, Harry was talking to some. I want to say that one then um, Oz. But my, my point is, like, Electro, even in the comic books, was a second-rate character. He was always like someone Spider-Man foiled really easily. Like, he's like, he, he figured out his weakness and he displayed it. And he tried to get back, and he always beat him. He just beat him quick, beat him quick, beat him quick. And I think they got Jamie Foxx, like, it's a big name, and they made a big deal about it. They put him, like, up in the limelight, and they're like, oh, yeah, Rhino's going to be in it, too. And I think we're just being misled. And then, then they, it's working, because yeah. I don't think anybody realizes that they're kind of going, oh, Green Goblin might be in it, too. I think he's going to be more in it than people realize. I don't think, I think the little stuff that we've seen, might be just about all we get to. There might be a little bit more, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that, yeah, I think we're being misled. I honestly well, do. If that's the case, they're doing a very, very nice job on it. Cause well, not for in, me. In the, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, the, the, the general public. We're, we're not all Batman, okay? Like, yeah, I guess not. Some but I'm just saying, saying, like, yeah, I wouldn't be saying, like, mark my words on that. I might be right. I might be wrong. I'll I'll eat my words if I'm wrong, but I think I think I don't think it's the focus. I really really don't, and we really didn't see a lot of the trailer. We saw really really short clips. 
And that's what makes me think, like, I don't think this is... I think they're kind of trying to mislead us with the whole Electro thing. I think Electro is going to be in and out. He might pop up at the end, because I think what happened will happen is... Uh, if I had to, like, break down the movie. I think they're going to release Electro to kill Spider-Man. Spider-Man's going to defeat him. He's like, I'll get my revenge. And then they send Rhino out. Because they're just trying to stop him at that point. And then Electro will go out again. He'll stop him. And then uh, Electro will be, like, completely defeated. And then Green Goblin, or maybe Hobgoblin, I don't know, will do his thing and be, like, the main focus at that point. And then Electro will come back at the end because then you'll realize he was betrayed, like he was tricked, and you'll help Spider-Man out a little bit or something like that, and that'll be the end of the movie, and then maybe Gwen will die. I don't know, but that's... I don't... I might have seen something else. It might have been a fan-made one, but I don't know. I, for some reason, I have a feeling I saw, like, uh, a scorpion in there somewhere. I don't know. I didn't, see, I didn't even hear about anything about scorpion. I don't know. I, I might just be in my own head. I could be crazy. I probably am. But is Scorpion? If even if he was, he'd be just like like I said. He'd oh, that's just, true. Well, I remember um, like a second rate. I remember in the the nineties. The was, cartoon. Not, yeah, like the episode that they introduced Scorpion. Like he was having a hard time beating Scorpion. Yeah, he did have a hard time. And it was like, what, why wouldn't they bring him in if he has? Like, he was never really a popular character. That's why. Like he didn't work. Like they thought Scorpion was going to be like the next Doctor Octopus or the next Venom. And when Venom became after Scorpion, yeah. but you know what I'm saying, like he's gonna yeah. be big, and then like no one, no one read it. Like the sales declined. They just like, oh, God, drop this guy, <laughs> and then he never really came back again. I think they just well, killed him he, off. Wasn't he part of the uh, Sinister Six? The, the Kingpin thing they had going on there? Because I know King, when he was fighting Kingpin, Kingpin had like Rhino, and uh, oh, I don't, I don't you like that was like ones? again that was kind of before my time, so I didn't really read those. I just kind of heard about them. And, you know, like, that stuff kind of changes over the years and what actually happened and whatnot. So I'm not 100% on that one. But he, Kingpin probably was pushing the buttons. He probably was because he was doing a lot of pushing buttons back then. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Do you think they're going to bring a Kingpin in eventually? No, because they, I guess they c No, they can't because uh, uh, Disney owns it again. They own the Kingpin title or... Because Kingpin went with Daredevil, hmm. and they lost the contract, so you know they can't introduce Kingpin in the Spider-Man universe. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. They they got Osborn and stuff. They'll probably just stick with that, and Doc Ock and stuff like that. But that's that's the problem with the whole. Don't they have they have the X Men too? So they could actually throw Spider-Man into an X Men thing if they wanted. With Sony. And we're talking about Sony versus 20th Century Fox versus uh, Disney. I think Sony and Fox work together, but uh, I don't know if don't, they own each other. I thought Fox had X Men. They do. Yeah, so they. As Sony as has Spider Man. Jesus. Like, <laughs> <laughs> get your stuff together, Marvel people. <laughs> Well, just, they got no say. Just take all your characters, give them back to Marvel, and then you get yeah. cut or whatever Marvel does with them. Do you want anything to add about the Spider-Man trailer? Just, I, I liked it. Like it's, I didn't like the first trailer because I, I just it really didn't catch me. I didn't really like the first movie that much. See, I don't really. This that's I'm the opposite. I, I'm excited for Spider-Man two, but I didn't really like the second trailer. I really liked the trailer. I don't. I don't it didn't give too much away, but it gave yeah, enough really. that it grabbed my attention. With the other one, there's parts of it I liked though, but overall, I didn't. Like the beginning with them falling, I was I wasn't really impressed with that, but I was really taken into it. I, I the falling part, I just, yeah, it, it wasn't very impressive, but it was. Just like, I was impressed with like, and then he's like pick up the manhole cover to like hit Rhino in the face with it, and then he chopped the car. And yeah, then, caught, I thought that was cool. And I I really liked the electro chase scene at the end, where it's kind of slow motion. He like zaps through the the webbing, so he kind of misses his webbing and. <laughs> And it, it, I think that almost showcases his spidey sense a little bit. Yeah. Which oh, I, yeah, I it like, because, like, they, they kind of touched on it and stuff, and, like, oh, he's got spidey sense in the first movie yeah. and stuff. And that scene there, just, like, he is faster than fucking lightning right now. Yeah, the he, spider sense works faster than that, yeah. And I, I, I liked that. for just, just for that alone, like, it was worth it for me. 
Yeah, that'd be pretty good. So I think that's what I got to say about it. Uh, go check out the trailer. Uh, make sure to like, we'll subscribe. We'll put a link in the description and stuff for the trailer so it's easy for you to find. Yeah, to some other you know, if you don't trailer. Have yeah, <laughs> um, sure. You don't have to go see it, but we you do have to go to the like button and hit that. And yeah. go to the subscribe button, hit that. Yeah. And then go to our other videos and hit those. There's a lot of things like. you have to do to watch this video at the end. Of right. It. Right. So you can go to our Facebook And you can page. watch this video again. And go and to again, our Facebook and page compare and like it. that Facebook page if you haven't already. And if you have, you need to show your friends and stuff to like that page as well. <laughs> and then these ads that are popping With, up. <laughs> <laughs> With all prostitution aside, uh, <laughs> see you guys next time. <laughs>